What's up, Samurai? It's Kaz, giving you another in-depth guide. You know, I like to provide content that's in-depth and gives you everything you need to do some of gaming's hardest challenges and different games. And the Hidden Cove tournament with uh, going up against the last opponent, Sal, is definitely that. It's very difficult. So again, this is Coswald with Midnight Lights Gaming. You can like, follow me, subscribe. Um, you can hit me up on Twitter at Midnight Lights. It's spelled a little bit differently. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. The eagle calls to you. All right, just some quick housekeeping things. One, I knew from the jump I wanted to keep this on hard difficulty. The combat in this game is so freaking good. I don't, you don't need me to tell you that. Um, so I wanted to keep it on hard. I didn't want to do a disservice to how great the combat was. You can mess with the settings, I think, to make unparryable attacks parryable. I didn't mess with that either. Um, it's on a very difficult difficulty. And I think I'm only about maybe seven hours into the director's cut. So I haven't found any armor or um, skill or technique that makes these unparryable attacks from Sal parryable. So there's nothing here um, making anything any easier. All right, some tips for you. One. The biggest tip is you just got to coax out this perfect, um, this uh, parryable attack from Sal. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. There's a couple ways to do it, but I found one technique that worked for me almost every time. The next thing is the technique that I found best was when he's doing his unparryable attacks, I'm jumping and dodging and just getting out of the way. Uh, so that was big. And then I'm just moving all the time, typically towards him and to the left. But I'm never stagnant. I'm always moving, always jumping, always dodging and coaxing out this um, parable attack. Also, don't get cute. The second I went away from the strategy, um, he always got me. So don't get cute and have a lot of patience. You're probably going to lose a lot of times and die a lot of times and want to make it easier. But hopefully this video is in depth enough to, uh, and these tips are good enough to help you keep it on hard, keep the settings difficult. Um, you just got to be patient uh, and get it right. All right, it's an in-depth review, so let's get in-depth, starting with Sao's different attacks. His number one primary attack is this spinny, unparryable attack that um, just is a huge headache. So you see it again here. He spins. You know it's unparryable because it's red. If you keep moving, you keep jumping, you'll miss it, but um, it's very hard to deal with, of course, which makes him so challenging. His next unparryable attack is throwing his sake bottle at you. Seems like a waste of good booze to me. That being said, it's also unparryable. It sends you into a daze. You can see it by the red spark again, and he'll get you. So those are his two unparryable attacks. His parryable attacks start with this one where he runs at you and gets you. Uh, that typically is when you're dazed, so I never was able to perfect parry that. His other attack is his spinny parryable attack. That's the one that's key to winning. You want to look out for that one, perfect parry it, and then strike him, and that's how you're going to get all your points. So there it is again. I didn't parry it there, but that's his attack that's parryable that you can get. So let's talk winning strategy. The thing that I saw in some other videos that I think is really good, but maybe on less challenging difficulties, is just using circle to move out of the way, to dodge out of the way, and then eventually he'll sort of like get you a little bit, and you'll see that opportunity to perfect parry. That is a very good strategy. Another one I tried to play with a little bit was sort of jumping and kicking. So I did that, but still no perf no parryable attack, so jump and kick. And then he pushes you away like that, and there's that parryable attack, and I got him. So that was a second strategy that works sometimes. And the best strategy I found was just holding towards him and to the left and jumping. And he never, he very rarely gets me with that. But then you want to wait for that moment where he almost half gets you. He sort of will do that spinny, unparryable attack. He half gets you and sort of knocks you back. And that's when he's like, okay, I'm going to get him with this weaker attack, I guess, um, that then you can parry. So he spins and kind of half gets you like that. It's not a point. 
And then there's a little space between the two of you, and he does his parable attack. That's the thing I got to work the most often. So let me run you through the duel I actually won with him. And there may be better ways to do this. I honestly don't know. Um, but in hard difficulty, this was the only strategy I found. So you saw me jumping and spinning, like jumping towards him to the left, dodging that unparable attack. He gets me a couple times in this too. And then that's the moment, right? Typically when he half knocks you back like that, he's going to do a parryable attack. But he threw a Saki at me that time, which is like, not cool, Sal. So I'm jumping towards him to the left, jumping towards him to the left. He tires himself out with his spinny unparryable. And there, there it was. He half gets me. I fall down. And then he's like, all right, I'm going to get him. Parryable attack. Perfect parry. Got him. Spinning. Half gets me. Parable attack, got him. And I guess he's dazed now. Towards him and to the left, jumping my little face off. I don't know why. See, that was me getting cute. Don't do that. Do not do that. That's me getting cute too. That's me getting cute too. Don't do it. It doesn't work. So that was a parable attack I missed out on. So he half gets me. Oh, and then he comes with an unparable attack. Um, again, not cool, Sal. You need to be more predictable. All right, jumping towards him to the left. He's doing his spinning on parable. Half gets me. There it is. That's the secret right there. Half gets you. You roll up. He comes with a parable attack and you get him. All right, 4 2, y'all. Spinnies. I got cute. Don't do what I did there. Half gets me. Throws a stocky bottle. So I do find if you're doing a jumping thing and he gets you with the stocky bottle, um, it will knock you far enough back where he does he can't get you if you uh, sort of press circle and get up again. So that's me getting cute. I wouldn't do that. Half gets me. So that was the coolest thing I've ever done at the end there. Um, but yeah, it was like a little spin um, from me, which was really just a dodge. And then I got him. So Midnight Lights game, and I hope that helps. I hope it's in-depth enough. Put any questions you have in the uh, below and follow, subscribe, and like. Taken root on Iki Island. I have to go back.